Hi, I'm Tanya Hudson, and for my creative after reading project, I've chosen to base it on Miss Spider's Tea Party by David Kirk. Miss Spider's Tea Party is a wonderful book for teaching rhyming, action verbs, um, counting, and a whole host of other concepts and skills. It's also really great for talking about dealing with negative emotions. Uh, at first in the book, Miss Spider is repeatedly rejected and she feels lonely because all of the other insects are afraid of her. But by the end of the story, Miss Spider has been able to help a moth who needed help and he learns that he can trust her and in turn he shares that information with the other insects and so they begin to trust her and finally Miss Spider has some friends with whom she can have tea. Since she is such a great role model, I would like to make a version of Miss Spider for our project. Here is a completed version of the lovely Miss Spider. And now I'll go step by step on how to make her. The first thing that we need is a plain white plate, paper plate, as well as a paper bowl, which is roughly about a fourth of the size of the paper plate. So to get started, we are going to take our yellow paint here and just begin to paint the backs of the plate and the bowl to cover them completely with yellow paint. Also, we need eight black pipe cleaners, which we will cover, I'm sorry, we won't cover, we will dab them with the yellow paint as well so that we have Miss Spider spots for her legs. Once we have finished painting the back of the plate and the bowl, we'll allow them to dry completely and they should look something like this. Once those are dried, we want to create the stripe that goes down the back of Miss Spider's back. So we're going to take a construction, a piece of black construction paper that's roughly a fourth of a standard sheet of construction paper. We're going to fold it in half and then we'll begin to cut that folded piece from the outside edge, not the folded edge. We're going to start cutting it in a zigzag pattern here like I've already started here, you can see, and we'll cut it all the way to the top. When we're finished with that cutting, we should have a piece that looks about like this. We can open that piece up and we want to glue it to the center of Miss Spider's back. We want to make sure that one edge of it comes to the edge of the plate and we'll glue it right down the middle. Also, um, the students can cut out this piece on their own or you can have it pre-cut for them depending on their age and ability level. Also, the same goes for the little black spots for Miss Spider's back, and those will be glued on the side of her uh, stripe on either side. We'll have several, usually about three or four spots for each side. And when we finish that step, it should look like this. And there's the side where the black stripe comes to the edge of the plate, and we've got all of our spots on there. And so now we can move on to focusing on this spider's face. We'll take our bowl and we we'll want to glue her red hair to the top of her head, just like so. And I already have that step done as well. And so there we have Miss Spider's head. We can um, take two googly eyes and we want to go ahead and glue those eyes her face and we've got a nose here that will also glue onto her face and then in the book if you look real closely at the book in the picture Miss Spider has some freckles so I've taken um, I've taken some of the scraps from a hole puncher and I'm just gluing those right here above her nose so she'll have her freckles. And of course we want to give ample time for these things to dry in between steps. Then we can apply Miss Spider's makeup. You gotta have your lipstick for your tea party. So, got her mouth, 
and we want to give her some lovely black eyelashes. And in the end, when we finish Miss Spider's face, it should look something like that. Now we'll set aside her face and let those pieces dry. And we need to work on gluing her legs to her body. So we'll flip the plate over, keeping our back stripe vertical. And we just need to glue four legs on each side. And this can be done with hot glue, but with children, it's better to just have them use the regular glue and just leave ample time for it to dry. Oops. And then once we've got all of her legs glued on, we'll turn her over. So we would have eight legs, four on each side. We turn her over. And the next step would be to glue, <laughs> obviously that wasn't ample time to dry, but once it is dry, the next step would be to glue Miss Spider's face onto the front of her body. And then when that is dried, the children can fold the legs to give them the bends that they feel like it should have for a spider. And now we have the lovely Miss Spider, and we're all finished. Thank you for watching.